If anybody does that for five, ten minutes, there's no way your mind has a, as many thoughts as it did before. Welcome to another episode of AMA, Ask Master Anything. My name is Angela. I am here with Master Shia Karshina. Namo Himalaya, Master. Namo Himalaya. And today we have one question from our creators, and we have a question from Manisha. She says, Dear Master, I had a question. How can I manifest when I'm going through difficult time with my boyfriend and stay positive in my mind? I only have overthinking about the situation, and when I think about something positive, is it for a few minutes, and then I am again thinking negatively. Hope to hear from your advice. Okay, so there's three steps to this. Because you are overthinking, the first step has to be to do with clearing the mind. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, whatever we manifest from this moment is all chaos. And the easiest way to clear the mind is through deep inhale, exhale. Slow, deep breathing practice. If anybody did a very slow down, deep inhale, that probably lasts a long time and a slow exhale, There is no way they can still be equally as angry, upset, uh, whatever chaos is going on in their mind, overthinking, it naturally subsides. So whenever you recognize that you're in that situation where you are overthinking, a lot going on in your mind, just focus on the inhale, exhale, focus on the sound of the breathing and follow that breath down deep into the abdominal and follow it back up. If anybody does that for five, 10 minutes, there's no way your mind has a, as many thoughts as it did before. So that's the first part. Then the second part is a shift in vibration. Second step has to do with how do we get to joy or love frequency from moving from a chaos and upset or anger or frustration or jealousy or whatever may be going on. And the fastest way is to practice gratitude. My recommendation is you can either do it writing or you can do it speaking. Mm -hmm. By shouting out very loud, saying to yourself maybe 50 things or maybe 100 things that you're grateful for and why you're grateful for it. The why is very important because why stimulates emotion. Yeah. If you just say dog, it's not going <laughs> to get any emotion, so it's not going to change your vibration. Yeah. Why? Because uh, I love him because he's cute, because he, 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 he's always smiling at me and he always comes to me when uh, 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 nobody's around. And so you start, and then you start feeling that vibration, you know? Uh, what are you grateful for? Your mom, your, your, your family, your friends, your, your colleagues, your, your work, being able to eat, being able to breathe, and just, just keep churning all that out and answer to why you're grateful for all these things. When you do that, you know there's a saying that says you cannot be angry and grateful at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> when you be grateful, what happens is now you are starting to shift your vibrations up to the higher vibrations of love and joy, mm -hmm. natural. And then the third thing is intention. Now that you've cleared the plate, cleared the chapter, and now that you've raised the vibrational frequency, the next part is intention setting. So now we need to think about what is it? So this is the final question. What is it that I want to manifest right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, think about the thing you want to manifest. What's the result? Now start visualizing it. Start getting into the feeling of it and set the intentions. Mm -hmm. Every single time there's the argument, there's the problems, there's the whatever overthinking, click back to the go-to, the three steps every single time. And the more you do it, the more it'll become a part of you and the better you will become at conscious creation, manifesting the things that you do want in life. Perfect, Master. Thank you so much. That is very easy and actionable items to make it work. So thank you for your time. Master. Thank you, Angela. Thank you so much, everybody. And just remember that AMA sessions is, we speak about law of attraction, spirituality, and manifestation, and we take questions from you. So if you're looking to ask a question to Master, make sure to go to Instagram 
uh, hit him at the end with hashtag Ask Master Anything and the team will be choosing the questions from you so we can ask to master. So if you enjoyed this video, if you have learned anything at all, make sure to click the like button and let us know in the comments below where are you tuning in from because it's very nice to know where everybody's tuning in from. And also hit the little bell sign so you can get notified on the next video so you get to learn and know actionable items for you to be able to achieve your manifestation faster. Other than that, thank you so much, Master. Thank you, Angela. And I'll see you, everybody, on the next episode. Thank you all. Namaste. Namo, Himalaya.